Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, my name is Amit Shahzad, and today I'm going to explain how we can set a total station with azimuth when we have a station known points and the back side only we have a azimuth. Uh, so in this video, I will also explain the how we can enter the azimuth, and also I can explain how we can calculate the azimuth. But this is this calculation I will do only with my calculators. So only for the confirmation because. In my previously video which I made on this topic in TS09 also in Urdu and also TS15 so I received some comments I did not remember which video I received they said how we know this one azimuth so I will go to explain this also calculation of this azimuth so let's come with me and we start this video so here is the, my first display when I power on the total station like a TS09 plus uh, so for the entering of my topic so I need to press the program files because all programs is here so I press on the programs I'm going to second option is the station setup so I'll go to ok with the uh, survey and then continue for the station setup F4 and here I have the orientation with the angles so this one I already explained in the last video so I'm going to F4 for the uh, continue and the value of the station is the 100 into 100 which I explained in last video because I'm standing on the same place but for the newcomers who is the first time see this video so I go to F1 for, uh, press F1 for find this uh, point and here we have the values easting 100 northing 100 so I'll go to press F4 for continue and then continue and then I'll press F3 for continue so for the uh, for the uh, azimuth, uh, last time we did this here in the zero angles. For example, we have uh, some different values. Uh, like uh, I have a 45 uh, uh, degree here because I'm standing on the same pre previously position. So what I have to do simply, I bring the cursor and use this arrow keys. So I'll put here uh, 45 degree, 0 minute and 0 seconds and then OK and then I go to set F2. F2. Once I press F2 then my instrument uh, is set on the 45 angle. So I'll press F2. So here my set instrument is set. So I need to know, I need to go again to survey and check my values. I'll press F4, uh, OK, continue. And then I'll press uh, F2. Don't consider this height of target. Actually, I'm not doing any elevation. As you can see, my target height is 1.3, but I'm not using any elevation. That's why uh, is I'm not going to change any things regarding the height of target. So I'll press F2 simply. So I'm using the uh, down arrow keys. Here I have the values, which one uh, 102.034, both are same on the angle of 45s. So first I will write down on the paper and then check cross with the 45 angle, because as you see, the horizontal distance is showing 2.87. And on the paper, I will, exp uh, I will calculate the value of uh, station is 100, 100 and I give the direction 45 azimuth and that this one horizontal distance 2.875 so let's uh, check on the paper distance and the azimuth here I'm using the KCU calculator FX 5800P so I already have uh, some programs here you can use the mobile apps many apps uh, have uh, these calculations and even my also video have uh, some on these apps so simply I go to file and press uh, equal button and then press one. Maybe you have a different uh, options, but my calculator which I put the value uh, inside the values. This is my calculation for the when we have uh, two coordinate, uh, sorry, one coordinate of one points and the other point we have azimuth and distance. So my station value is 100, northing 100 and easting 100. And the distance what we get on the total station that was is uh, 2.875 and the angle we put there 45 degree 
So I'll press uh, and now you can see the value of the northing and easting is 102.033 and north is same what we get on the total station as I can show you again on the total station here you can see the total station values also same only we find the one milli difference uh, due to maybe uh, the prism is disturbed or anything but the calculation finally we get the same uh, so this is the way how we can calculate the azimuth uh, I try to uh, I try to answer the question what I receive on the comments uh, regarding the azimuth and also I explain in this video how we can set the total station when we have a one known station point and the back side is the azimuth so hopefully i explain everything in this video if you have any question about this video or my other videos you can ask me in the comments i will try to answer uh, the as soon as possible and the final my and finally my words again forgive me if i don't have a good skill to communicate this these were uh, these videos i'm making on the request only for the explain because the many people ask me in the comments as you can see my different videos so here i'm closing my this video so thanks for watching and if you like please like it and share this video to others and uh, new visitor please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon